Hi guys, it's Kara, and as the title of the video suggests, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I decided to do for One Book July. Now, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys are familiar with One Book July, but just in case you're not, I'm going to put some links down below to videos done by the wonderful women that kind of created this, I'm going to call it project, for the month of July. It's been going on for a few years now, and uh, those videos will be from Romani, Miss Vicky, and Carrie Harling. So check those out, they'll be listed down below. And I'll be honest, in in the past years, I really haven't felt kind of the urge to do it. Um, a lot of the focus that I saw with people is always on their planner um, and how to kind of simplify what they're doing and stuff like that. And I just really didn't feel the urge at all to participate. I really liked watching the videos and I really liked watching what other people did, but it just it really hasn't been my thing until this year. Um, and I think, honestly, the big reason that I got interested had a lot to do with Romani's video this year. And in her video, um, she really just talked about how there seems to be some confusion that there's all these rules for One Book July, when in fact there really aren't any rules. There's only there are only rules if you impose them on yourself, basically. And she talked about how people were doing things other than focusing on their planner. And one of the things she mentioned was that people were focusing in on doing a project for the month of July. And that's kind of when I got interested because I have really wanted, and I've spoken about this I'm sure in many videos, really wanted to learn how to watercolor. Learn how to sketch and watercolor, but really watercolor. And I have bought a ton of different supplies. I have, you know, I've, you guys have seen them in haul videos. I have watercolor paints and brushes and paper and all sorts of stuff. Um, and I haven't really learned to watercolor. I've used them for like backgrounds and journals and art journaling, um, you know, and on cards and things like that, which there's nothing wrong with. But I always kind of have wanted to learn how to work with watercolor paint, learn how it moves, learn techniques, you know, wet on wet, wet on dry, all those kind of things, get more familiar with brushes and what brush I like best, things like that. And I've always, I've just really been kind of a big baby about it. I really, I'm one of those people that I have a hard time trying because I hate to fail. So when Romani started talking about a project, I thought that that could kind of be my motivation to finally do something. And I knew that I didn't want it to be any any kind of big thing. I didn't want it to be a huge journal or a huge piece of paper or anything like that that I worked on. And I remembered seeing on Instagram that one of the people I followed had this adorable little journal. And I'm going to show it to you. This is um, the picture that I'm re referring to. It's from Jessica Seacrest. I'll put a link down below to her as well because she has some really wonderful posts on Instagram that I absolutely love with her painting. Um, but anyway, I remembered that little journal and I went looking for it and I found the Etsy seller who is the speckled cat and I ordered a little journal slightly larger than the one I just showed you, but it's in here and it looks like this. It is one and a half, uh, one and a half by two and a half inches and it has 48 little pages in there. This is Arches watercolor paper. It's 140 pound cold press watercolor. And um, I ordered it, gosh, I think I got this in about four days from when I ordered it. Um, it came in the uh, little bag that you saw with this on top, which I love the personal touch of having my name on the envelope. Inside here is my invoice. And uh, along with the invoice, there was a little personal handwritten note, which I just thought was awesome. I love those touches when people do that. Um, I just, I feel like it shows that they really care about the people purchasing their goods. And so this is going to be my little project for the month of July is that at least once a day, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paint something, even if it's just simply to practice how a brush moves or wet on wet or whatever. I'm going to just use this itty bitty little journal for that. And I have nothing, you know, it's nothing major. I understand it's not a huge undertaking, but hopefully by the end of July, I will have almost a full 
journal of pages that I've watercolored on. That's what I want to do. That's my hope. Um, now, I know I said I was going to put the link down below to the Speckle Cat. I just want to mention she also does larger journals and um, they look gorgeous. So definitely check her out. And then along with this, kind of related to it, I also purchased um, a, a little palette of watercolors. And it's in this little tin. There's the Etsy seller. And, and this, I, I can't always stumble over this name, but I will put a link down below because she has some gorgeous looking watercolors. And this was all wrapped up. Uh, I'm gonna post some pictures of how it was wrapped on Instagram. In case you're following me there, you'll see those. But there are the colors, and there are what they look like and their names. Really cute. And along with the really cute wrapping, um, I also got kind of a letter of information or a note of information about her paints, which I thought was awesome. And she tells, you know, she tells uh, you all about um, how they're created and things like that. And she included a sample of all of her other watercolor palettes, which I think are really cool. I have to admit that I'm really liking this Coastal palette. Look at how pretty those are. And I kind of like the monochromatic. I don't even know what I would do with it, but I just think it's kind of cool. So anyhow, I may have uh, another purchase from her in my future. We'll have to see. But this is what I'm going to be using and focusing on for the month of July, for One Book July. And I just wanted to kind of put this out there in case some of you were still on the fence trying to figure out what you wanted to do or if you wanted to do anything. It doesn't have to be anything big. It can just be some little project, some little skill you wanted to practice um, that you just do for a few minutes every day. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm hoping that by doing this and kind of being consistent, it's going to form a habit um, in me that I sit down and do this, you know, once a day at some point in the day. I'm hoping it's going to encourage me to do more. You know, I'm hoping that I'm going to get over my fear of failing. Um, so I have high hopes for this and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I also wanted to kind of throw out a big thank you to Romani, Vicky, and Carrie. I don't know if they're going to see the video or not, but I appreciate the fact that they take the time to do the One Book July and I know they also do it for themselves, but they always talk about it. They always tell you, you know, tell you all about what they're doing. They always, you know, talk about what other people have done, things like that. And so I just think it's kind of a really wonderful thing. Um, and I think all of us should be taking a little bit of time each day for ourselves, whether it's, you know, to plan out things in our planner or to do a little project or whatever. Um, so this is what I'm going to try. And I hope you guys are going to make the attempt to if you feel the urge to do so. Um, I will post a few videos throughout the month just kind of updating you on how I'm doing. Um, I will show you whatever you know I put in here even if it's just some brush lines with pretty new paint. Um, but I'm gonna be consistent and I'm gonna do this through the month of July. That is what I'm hoping will happen. So um, thanks for listening to all my rambling. If you have any questions about these things, let me know. Like I said, down below there should be links to both of these Etsy sellers and to videos uh, from Romani, Vicky, and Carrie. So check all those out. Um, let me, you know, feel free to leave comments, ask me questions. I'm kind of excited to be back doing videos, so I'm hoping to hear from you guys. And as always, I hope that you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye everybody!